everyone, welcome back to our official YouTube channel, Everest. Here we have another Everester who got 7.5 and he is here today to share his own experience and all the things he've been through. And we're really happy he got 7.5 because he's only 15 years old, which is really great. And welcome. Can you introduce yourself, please? So hello, my name is Hal Mohamed of Shahrukh. I'm 15 and I got 7.5. Actually, as I can say, I'm a high school senior officially, freshman here. Yeah, so uh, you have only turned to 15 and you study at school, right? Actually, in three months, I'm turning 16. Mm -hmm. But as I can say, I'm still 15. Yeah. What kind of goals do you have in the future? Why you got this 7.5? I mean, why um, taking IELTS was so important for you? So the main, I mean, goal for me was to approve my score, my mm -hmm. English, and then maybe to have uh, some kind of proof that I'll get into university. So, yeah, got it. It, it is kind of proof for yeah. you to uh, say that you know English I better. I know English and nobody can compel that. Yeah, so let's look at the results. You can also see that on the screen. Here, his listening is nine, which is really outstanding. And reading eight, great. And writing 6.5, speaking six. I know this story very much. And mm. you can also clarify it if you want. Okay, yeah, I'll try. Mm -hmm. So actually, on a speaking day, I was registering for speaking, as taking photo and so on, and then I was announced that I will have a Zoom speaking. Actually, I got off my mood, I flew over the handle and started yeah. to panic, and as you can see, my hair there is all full because of this. Uh, yeah. And then I waited for another hour because the registration for the time was full and it was, I don't know what, but maybe some kind of, they moved the date off as students. But then after one hour, my speaking was supposed to be on, at 12, 20 mm -hmm. p.m. But then it moved to 1 p.m., mm -hmm. unfortunately, and then waited another 20 minutes for waiting for a room. So it was kind of complicated for complicated, you. Complicated, yeah. And I was just sitting in a room yeah. without a conditioner and yeah. I was like in my hair and it was oh, awful. Was, yeah. That's why I just was off my mood and that played a bad Mm. But it's not the end of the world, you know. I know you that. can it's do it better the because first attempt and because it's... now we can see you are talking very uh, with enthusiasm, and the yeah. pronunciation is also great. Thank you. Thank you. So, who was your examiner? You said Mark Clelland. Mark, right? Yeah. On Zoom. On Zoom. So, how do you think uh, taking this kind of um, how to say speaking test mm. on Zoom on is Zoom. how awful? Oh, for yeah, <laughs> really? Because, you know, you have to wait as 20 minutes for this. And when you get into the room and see a big face of old man in mm. front of you, and he's saying that he's your examinator, mm. I was shocked. Yeah, maybe this is kind of shocked because when you um, like talk face to face, it's, better, it's much, much better. better. Yeah. Yeah. All right. But I'm really happy for you Thanks. for this 7.5 because uh, there are really few people who can get this score. I know. And especially, let's move on this listening what? before we talk about other subtests, okay? Mm -hmm. So what did you do in order to get this and how much time did it take for you to To be honest, I listened to a lot of podcasts mm -hmm. every day, bbc.com and another podcast from Pocket Cast, Google Play mm -hmm. application. So then I watched a lot of Netflix mm. because I don't know, but Netflix has a diversity of accents in one movie. Yeah. For example, as I can talk about a particular movie, for example, let's take uh, even a TV show. Yeah. Riverdale, there are a lot of accents. Yeah. Starting from British and it was Irish. And when you understand all the range of accents, you can get 40 out of 40 easily. Yeah, I was also going to mention that because um, when you can understand uh, the range of accents, it will be uh, ha somehow easier for you to understand listening. Yeah. Yeah, because be every exercise yeah, yeah. is I don't know full food with specific accents. Mm -hmm. For example, one man is speaking in a British way and another is speaking in an American. American way. and Australian. Yeah, Australian and mixed. so on. You know, mix it, and your if your brain is not adapted, you cannot 
That's why you have to. So you think that the main problem is understanding the accent. way they speak, the yes, accent, right? Yes, because words are the same, but accents. For example, when you, in Australia, the one word, mm -hmm. cookies, yeah, and lollies. It's not to my knowledge, or candies and lollies. And I got on listening to this word too. Yeah, that's... And I don't know, I got this... Lollies means candies, mm. and I put a candies there. Wow, that's really awesome. <laughs> so, what kind of recommendations do you have apart uh, from um, understanding movies. accents? Uh, understanding accents, yeah. learn words, mm -hmm. and learn grammar because they are too enigmatic and they, I don't know, they make a lot of puzzles there. Mm. And with the same words, they say in other, in other methods, for example, they cannot say it properly. They just make a lot of labyrinths there. Mm, yeah. That's bad. So you mean a grammatical range can help Should be help enriched you. as yeah. it only could because a lot of grammar. Mm. Then how long have you been learning English? I mean, have you started from learning grammar at we, first? Yes. My first topic was to be. And yeah. it was a long uh -huh. time ago, a while ago, as I can say. But as I can say, I've studied English for two years. I cannot say that I'm studying it for five or even six. Yeah, because as the uh, ages was, I don't know, maybe how can, unconscious learning of mm. English, mm. kids in language and so on. But then when I got into the seventh grade, I started to make a handle on English. So how do you think um, your knowledge in English will help you in the future? Mm. You told that um, there is no exact thing for yourself to do in the future, but what kind of uh, improvements are you going to make with the help of English? With the help future? of English, I can get an international job, mm. or maybe yeah. I could get into the company international and move wherever I want, or maybe do a volunteer project in the future. Mm. If mm. I would take a gap here in the future, I'm wondering yeah. about it. Yeah. Well, hope for it. So let's turn reading. Mm. So what kind of techniques was important for you? Skimming and scanning, as I can say, because I was only reading the text. Mm -hmm. I don't know, maybe just following the answers and just writing questions on the mm -hmm. answer sheet is not a better way. You have to read on. Yeah. You have to understand the, each word in the text. So. Uh, I see most of the candidates who mm -hmm. took IELTS um, have outstanding results in both listening and reading. What do you think? Um, how can they get it? I mean, you, get, you got nine already mm -hmm. in listening and reading is also great. So what is the key thing here? I think that listening and reading are contemporary mm -hmm. because they are just helping each other to improve. When you're studying reading, you improve your listening to unverbally. For example, you learn a lot of words, academic points. And for listening, you are just developing your speech, which is helpful in reading when you read. So how uh, your teacher helped you to develop your speech? My speech... Um, he is Bihrul Shotaraev, if yes. I'm not mistaken, right? Yes. Works in Everest. So, so how was it? Say, mocks, a lot of mocks, mm. speaking tests, a lot. And every day we had a speaking clubs. It was a really? Yeah, best approach for improving my English. But somehow, somehow I can say that he helped me in words, in vocabulary and lexical resources because when I came to him, I got not just like a stable grammar, but in stable vocabulary. Mm. It was very bad thing of mine. And then, I don't know, he helped me a lot with words especially. Yeah, now I realize that how that examiner, examiner, <laughs> yeah, examiner uh, marked you like six. It's awful. <laughs> okay, let's continue. So, what kind of other recommendations do you have? What kind of books have you used in uh, the process as of for learning? Books, <laughs> I forgot to be honest. Really? Yeah, because when I took my ISS, I literally just flew out the handle and started to only take a rest. Mm. It was awkward time, you know, just spending eight hours, ten hours studying English. But one prominent book that I want to mention is Our Strategies, mm. Listening, a Chinese book. It's I know. It's a perfect book yeah. for listening especially, and I was intensive. 
intensive, intensive also, right? Only these two books just improved my score from six to nine. Great. Yeah. But I've heard that those books you have just mentioned are uh, aimed at getting uh, from five to seven, but no. really nine. We if you will work with them and thoroughly listen to the podcast, you'll get nine. You get nine. Easily, yeah. I, just, I did so. Does vocabulary matter of here? Of course, when you just you cannot understand the text without the vocabulary and for speech, it's too. You have to learn words, a lot of words, and when you develop your vocabulary base, you just develop your stamina mm. in language, and you won't get tired when you're listening. Yeah. That's the best approach for this. But you know, in listening, you need to uh, focus on... Uh, paraphrases. I mean, sentence. yeah, paraphrases too, which means like you have to you have know to. much vocabulary. Of yeah. course, because they are speaking too enigmatic, as I mentioned before. Yeah. And you have to know the synonym and you have to have this just like sense, yeah. <laughs> discretion that you are just being, I don't know, tangled with words. So how long have you been preparing for IELTS, as you said, from since September, since right? Since September I came to the Behrsa Drive and uh -huh. as I can say, f as for preparation for the formats and just for the test itself, it took me approximately four or three hours. Months, mm -hmm. but since September I learned only general English. I focus on the words, on the grammar, on the books, books. Mm -hmm. I mean, fiction ones. But really, then, yeah. What kind I of? I read a lot. What kind? Fiction of novels, mm -hmm. and I cannot say that I read the fantastics, but for detective, yeah, I read a show That's Holmes great. and Cute to Kill a Kingdom. Great. Uh, what Wine Tells. Yeah. Enormous books, mm. just more than 1,000 of pages. So apart from these, have you um, ever talked to yourself in front of the mirror? Because okay. I have heard uh, most um, candidates say you need to talk to yourself looking at your eyes. How is that? I've never tried it, for um, example. <laughs> I tried it, but not too much because I got very strange it and, you know, just, I don't know, I dislike it. Yeah, looking at yourself. When you're looking at yourself and speaking it's something improper. But then I can say that first two months I did mm. so, but then I switched to the YouTube. I mean, I watched speaking videos mm. and probably I was speaking with them. So, but, you know, which I channel? control it. Mm -hmm. Channel. I was Advantage and I was Daily. They okay. have a lot of speaking tests, and when you just listen to them, you, I don't know, your motivation raises. And parallelly, you have to speak with them. That oh. really helps. Okay. Um, what's really interesting for me here is what was your true motivation in order to get this Eight band score? So yeah. I don't know, maybe to prove that I'm not bad and my English is quite proficient mm. and I can compete with American or British men on the street. So it's clear from your uh, speech too that you are really into American yeah, accents. Yeah, I love American accents. What about British? I don't, I don't like it. You know, <laughs> just this pronunciation, just like can't or car. Yeah. Really tiring. But it's soft. You know? Soft, but yeah. when it comes to American, you speak like non flow, flow right? yeah. it's too cool. Yeah. And you know, American is everywhere. So Have you yeah. ever tried um, singing songs? I mean, rap? Rap? No. No? No. Maybe just unconsciously making a karaoke, but no. Mm. I never catch myself. I never caught myself doing so. Ah, got it. So let's move uh, to the writing task. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, how was it? What kind of uh, things you've been through when Mainly you were preparing? Mainly I was prepared by my teacher, mm -hmm. but I used all, a range of books. I was made easy writing task two and one. Mm. And then I use it Alice Advantage, which is known as Sakhir Gamlama in Everest. Isn't you know? that too difficult? Too difficult. Yeah. Just because... working with a lot of grammar. And you know, grammar is easy, but approach is and style is yeah. so, I don't know, challenging somehow. So my question is, which was more difficult, task one or task two? For me, task one. Task one? Yeah. Because... How? I had a strange problem, mm. non-lens or how it's called, I forgot. Mm? Ah, 
Söz yetmeyen kalış ya? Word Underlands. Uh, underlands. I had a strange problem with underlands. Just by 121 words or just under 150. Um, it was really bad. And yeah. when I was when I was marked by my teacher, he always say that, hey, you got to improve your words limit. Mm. Was that table or something bar chart? In every case. Sorry. In every in any case, I was uh, I had this yeah. problem. Yeah. And especially in the pie chart, because it was too too strange to describe two or even three products there. Mm -hmm. And when you just describe them, you have to write a novel. Okay, so uh, the last one here, you know, speaking. Speaking. Mm -hmm. What is your advice for these candidates? They are watching you and they want to know how did you improve and you are improving your speech. And so... TED.com, my secret. TED Talks. TED, right? Yeah, because I was a strange story. I was sitting, I was just sur surfing the Instagram and accidentally I got to the post of one Russian girl who mm -hmm. got Celta, Cambridge Celta. Yeah, I heard that. Yeah, and her speaking score was the highest there. And her main advice was to listen to the TED.com. TED.com is a specific site of TED Talks with transcript. When you just listen mm -hmm. to these talks, you have a transcript transcript there and you just probably have to do a karaoke there yeah I'm just listening you have to pronounce listen pronounce and I don't know they will give a boost to your fluency and vocabulary range what about part three there are so part many three. yeah difficult questions and you need to give uh, striking examples how was that for uh, you I had a problem with it too Mm. Because I had a problem called overgeneralization or just something yeah. that. Yeah. Maybe. And always when I used to have a mock test in Everest, Sivara Trakulova was my speaking examinator. She always said that, hey, you have to give specific example, not personal. Mm. And this problem was just following me for, and still it's following me. For example, when they're asking, for example, for a worldwide issue mm -hmm. or global warming or pandemic now, I usually say about myself. Oh, yeah, that's really bad. That's really bad, as I know. I love myself. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> so, so when I'm talking about mm, worldwide issue, I maybe. got, I don't know, I have this, maybe, how can I say it? I'm worried a lot because I'm only 15 and I'm talking about such a big problems. It's really striking. Okay, but I really loved your speech. Thank you. You're worth more than that, you know. So what's your plans? My plans to get yeah. IELTS again. Again? Yeah. When? I don't know, but maybe in the next year or in this year, in the autumn. We hope to get 8.5. 8, 8 plus. <laughs> 8 plus. <laughs> 8 I'm plus. not saying about 8.5, yeah. 8 plus. But 8 plus, yeah, it will. Because... Maybe there were some misunderstandings. Yeah, this is Maybe. nature, yeah. Were you wearing a mask? No. No. Zoom speaking. Yeah, they it wasn't needful because me, yeah. you're talking to, to the, the screen. screen. <laughs> An old man. Yeah, yeah. Got it. So thank you very much for being here and mm -hmm. sharing um, these experiments. That was really great. And uh, I hope to see you again mm -hmm. with 8 plus, eight plus. as you said. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, we have a rule in mm -hmm. um, this channel, I mean, when we get interview from our candidates, mm -hmm. Everesters, you need to uh, respond to the comments. Okay. Okay? Yeah. During one week at least, okay? Okay, okay, I will try. So, thank you very much. Thanks, and if you have, guys, some um, another questions, you can ask him. And we hope to see you again in the next videos. Bye for now.